Congressman Michael Burgess, Republican from Texas. Uh, Congressman, thank you for your time this morning. Uh, I know it was a late night for sure, you and you. your colleagues. Before I get into the latest developments, take us behind the scenes. What is morale like? What are tensions like right now among House members? I mean, you just must be at your wits end, sir. Well, I think that clip that you, you began the segment with really reflected the, the mood in the room last night. Groundhog Day. And yep. uh, true enough, well, no, not Groundhog Day, that, that the conference was united behind Mike Johnson, and there did seem to be a great deal of elation that we had indeed achieved this point. Now, the proof is going to be on the House floor later on. There were a number of absences. Was that because people were just worn out, or did they not show up because they have a problem? And mm -hmm. I'm guessing that Mr. Johnson's team and himself during the latter part of the night and early hours of the morning are checking in with each of those members, number one, to assure that they will be present on the floor, and number two, that they don't have a problem with their vote. Yeah, yeah, I, I see which clip you're talking about now. Uh, my apologies. So let's talk about him. Let's talk about Mike Johnson as the latest contender. Um, certainly not as well known as some of the other candidates that we've seen nominated uh, in the past few weeks. Where do you stand on him, and what do you think his chances are? I think his chances are excellent. Uh, no, he wouldn't have been uh, uh, the person who came top of mind when we started into all of this 22 days ago. But then again, 23 days ago, I wouldn't have had top of mind that Speaker McCarthy would be uh, would would be moved out of the Speaker's chair. So we've been through a, a pretty tumultuous three weeks, and also you juxtapose it's been 18 days since Israel was attacked. So a, a dangerous time in the world, and, and the House hasn't had a speaker. I'm hopeful that afternoon today we, we will indeed have that speaker. And then the very first thing we'll do is take up a bipartisan resolution supporting Israel. There are two appropriations bills. Remember, when all of this started with Speaker McCarthy, we had just passed a rule to bring up Department of Homeland Security and alleged branch appropriations. Those two bills should come to the floor quickly. There will be a number of amendments, but we can get yeah. through those, and you'll see the House back in action. We just need a speaker uh, for, for all that work to get done and take place. You brought up McCarthy. I did want to ask you about him. You know, after three weeks of chaos, several failed attempts, uh, people are worn out watching this. Uh, one of our D.C. correspondents, mm -hmm. Joe Khalil, is hearing this idea being floated around that all roads could lead back to McCarthy as speaker and Jim Jordan as assistant speaker and somehow split the power. Is that something that you can confirm is actually being discussed? Well, I haven't heard that, so that sounds like a pretty elaborate uh, scenario. And Would you be in favor uh, of that? At this point, I'm, I'm, no, I'm in favor of Mike Johnson being our speaker. He got the votes last night. He got the votes on the floor. Uh, he's, a, he's a steady hand. We all know him. He's a happy warrior, as you saw in that uh, in that clip in in the lead-in, and uh, very conservative, very principled, and we will be well served by Mike Johnson as our speaker. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.